share it and uh, I am a maker of things. Uh, painting, drawing, usually, uh, but I don't like to exclude myself from anything or any other medium. Now, the, the Liars Club uh, is an idea that came about from a conversation I had with my twin brother, Jace, uh, because occasionally we write together as well. And um, I got this book off eBay called The uh, History of American Folklore, which is a great book full of tall tales and things like that. Um, and we had this idea of a group of people who, to, to write a screenplay, to, uh, of a group of people who gather together at a park bench and then they tell the most amazing lies that they can come up with. Uh, so, so visually speaking, uh, you know, we instantly started thinking of these ideas visually. Um, and then inadvertently from the lies that they tell, they invent the future. Um, we never got around to writing the story, but the imagery stayed with me. And I was going through a second-hand shop in Prestatin. Was it Prestatin? Yeah. Yeah, glammy, you know, and and I saw this photograph in a frame, and in, as soon as I saw it instantly, I could I, I could see it finished as the liars club. I went and visited it, so I took it. I bought it with the for the grand price of four pounds. Took the photograph out, ripped parts of it off, painted over parts of it, and it ended up like that, which turned into an amazing device for me to paint whatever I want. Uh, the, the Liars Club, it was, uh, it's, it's like I've got all these ideas uh, that from my journey to this point, you know, like all the, these areas of interest. And sometimes I would, I would have liked to have painted uh, so many different subjects the, if you put it in one room, you'd think, you'd think it was by a thousand different artists. So I wanted this umbrella uh, idea where I can get all these elements and put them all in one picture. And um, it became the Liars Club, which uh, and, it, and it's turned into this uh, body of work, which for me is so satisfying because all, all the interests that I've got can be included in one painting, if I wish it to be. It's a joy, it's a joy. It, it makes all of my days really exciting because I some days I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get into the studio. Um, but uh, this vein of the Liars Club just makes it such a joy. I mean, the, the next ones that I'm doing are just, the, the, it is, Sometimes the word fun in art is like a dirty word. It's like it's not taken seriously, you know. But, and I've seen Anselm Kiefer's work and it is powerful. And, you know, it is about horrific things that humans have done to other humans. But, you know, there's another side to life. It doesn't always have to be as serious as that. Uh, I, I wanted to make artwork that would really make you raise your eyebrows at it, you know, take a deep breath and think, wow, you know, this thing is unique and it, it doesn't exist anywhere else but inside my head. Well, it does now because it's on the wall, but then, you know. I believe that uh, life is meant to feel good. Um, and I think art is one of those things in life that makes you feel good, whether you're making it or looking at it, you know, and it's, it's, I believe it's, it's magic. It changes people's consciousness. And it, 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 that has got to be the definition of magic, is changing people's consciousness. Consciousness says, I don't know what the plural is for that one. But, uh, yeah, th there's a quote by, um, Roald Dahl that I put on my website about using your eyes to look for magic.
Uh, and if you never look for magic, you're never going to find it. So my message for the world would be to look for the magic in, in everyday life. It doesn't always have to be bad.